Hi, welcome. My name is Elaine Daniels. I'm the founder of The Happy Me. And I'm answering the question, what to expect a year after um, tearing your ACL if you do not decide to get surgery. Um, I'm going to tell you and share with you exactly what my experience was. And this experience was from following The Happy Me Method, where I ate specific foods, followed specific um, natural remedies, and did um, certain exercises. So when I tore my ACL, I had no stability. So like the top of my knee was going in run, one direction and the bottom of my knee was going in another. Like it was like jello. Um, I was scared. I had never had such a major injury. Um, and I got my injury from playing basketball. So I went up and, you know, for a layup and I came down um, incorrectly on my knee. And when I did that, I was like, oh, I'm going to be fine. I'll just walk it off. And then I tried to get up, and it was the most intense pain I'd ever had. So going from that point, um, you know, I went to ask friends, okay, well, what should I do? What should I do? I heard you got surgery. Um, how do you feel? You know, are you able to exercise as much as you were before? Um, do you have any pain now? Have you lost weight? Have you gained weight? And the responses that I um, received were not enough to convince me to get surgery. And so from there, I went on to um, really exercise what I learned and grew up on, as well as um, practice a lot of natural um, techniques in getting my knee to heal. And I think it's important to understand and really define what healing means to you. So when I decided that I did not want to get surgery, I was just like, you know, I want to be able to run consistently. I want to be able to stay in shape after graduate school. And I want to be able to increase my activity level and change my activity level as I age to remain healthy. So as we get older, we might gain weight. As we get older, um, we have other challenges and demands on our time. And so it re requires that we adjust what our routine is to stay healthy. And so my goal was to eventually be able to run 30 minutes um, on the treadmill nonstop. And fortunately, after a year, that was what I was able to do. And um, that is what you can you know, get to as well if you go through specific steps and are really guided. You know, at the time, I wish that I had the happy me to kind of coach me through the process of getting to a healed um, ACL tear. I was very, very scared. I was worried um, going from, you know, playing basketball in high school to running track in college and then going into my first, you know, professional job where I'd be sitting all day. I was worried because when my knee was healing, I wasn't able to work out for like the first three months at least. And I needed to understand that, you know, okay, the first three months is gonna, are going to be um, a resting period um, and really feeding myself um, specific foods and nutrients. And so I hope that gives you a little more insight. If you tore your ACL and you're a little scared um, or you're just, you know, looking for other options, you want more information, certainly visit thehappyknee.com, sign up for a free consult, you can speak with me directly, learn more about the Happy Knee program, and, you know, if nothing else, you come away with more clarity on what you can do and the steps that you can take, but I know, um, having torn my own ACL, that you really want to know as much as you can um, about what to do, and it's really helpful when you are able to speak with someone that has already been through what you are going through and can give you real life, you know, insight. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, certainly leave the questions below and I look forward to speaking to you further. Have a good one.